Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about the easiest dropshipping strategy in 2018 for beginners. So this is more or less a multitude of different strategies that you're going to want to implement into your Shopify dropshipping stores. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing is Instagram influencers. Okay, I talk a lot about this on the channel. Obviously, you guys should be very informed about Instagram influencers, but if you aren't, you know, it's pretty much the best platform to test products. So for those of you who are beginners, you're starting out your first store, you don't want to you want to test those new products. This is the best platform to do so because you can pay for a promotion and get pretty quick results because once you pay for that promotion, you're going to be sending people right to your website and see if a product works right away. Instead of with Facebook ads, they take a little bit more time to develop. They're also a little bit more advanced, so it's not as easy for beginners. That's why I recommend Instagram influencers when you're first starting out because it's a little bit harder to grasp. I have a bunch of other videos going into the specifics of how to do Instagram influencers on this channel. It's in the Shopify playlist, so you just go to my channel, check those out uh, to understand Instagram influencers more. But you know, they're really great for beginners because you could get started, test that product see if it works if it doesn't try something else try another product maybe try a different page you know just whatever works for your niche you want to do that uh, in the beginning and then you know you could move on to Facebook ads try that out too you know the more ways the merrier you could also do YouTube stuff like that a lot of different ways that you can promote a Shopify store but Instagram influencers is definitely one of the easier ways to get started. And when you do those promotions, you could also potentially be gaining followers that may buy in the future. So say for example, here with the girl Malu Treveo, I've used this example before, but with brighter white, you know, someone might not buy the brighter white product right away from her promotion that they ran, but they might follow the page and then in the future as they see more and more posts from Brighter White, they're like, oh, you know what? I actually do want this teeth whitening product and they go and buy it. So you might get follow-up sales later with your promotions because you're gaining followers off of this too. So you're gaining more traction than just direct sales. You're also going to be gaining followers that spread your brand, build your brand more overall. You know, you're having people interacting with your comment section, depending on what type of posts you make. So there's a lot of different uh, great things with Instagram influencers that you can do. You can really grow your uh, Shopify store's Instagram page pretty quickly with this type of strategy. You know, you can get those followers, get those sales, uh, and ultimately lead to more profits. So moving into the second thing is the layers to testing. So testing, there's a lot of different layers to it with starting your Shopify stores. Like I said, testing on Instagram is going to be your best bet and you're going to want to make sure you keep doing new offers. So when I mean new offers is trying out different products, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. So for today's example, we're going to head, go ahead and use Corgis, right? Cute little doggy here. So let's say you had a Corgi uh, store that's your whole niche is focused specifically around the corgi dog. Now, I don't just say dogs in general because dogs in general is too broad of a niche. You know, you want to niche it down a little bit more, go more specific. So today's example is going to just be a corgi because they're cute, right? So say, for example, you're trying to sell a corgi phone case or there's a bunch of other corgi products that you could sell as well. But, you know, phone cases are pretty popular. So I figured why not use a Corgi phone case as the example. So when you're testing your products out and say, for example, the Corgi phone case sells really well to the Corgi audience. You know, people are like, oh, look at that cute dog. I want this phone case, right? That you don't stop there. Okay. You see that it works at a certain price point. You don't stop there. You continue because you can raise the price steadily as you run promotions for the resistance point. Now, I'm going to explain what the resistance point means, but when, you run, when you're running promotions, you want to keep raising that price to see if you could potentially make more money off of people. Because, you know, when I first launched a few of my products when I was starting out, I had the dang products too cheap. I started them out at like $12.95 and I saw a bunch of other stores selling like the same products and was like, hmm, they're selling it at $19.95, $17.95. Maybe I should sell my product for more money. And then I raised the price and people still bought it just as much. So you could be t potentially making more money if you just raise the price. You don't want to compete on being too cheap. That's definitely a lot of beginners make that mistake. They're like, oh, I'll just be the discount store and make everything super cheap. Not a good idea. You want to go for premium pricing strategy. So what I mean by this and the resistance point here is let's say you run the promotion. You run this product, this phone case for $9.95, okay? That's the actual price that you sell it at. Say it's marked down from like 20 bucks or something. Like, I don't know. You could mark it down from anything that seems reasonable for someone going onto the website, right? You sell for $9.95, okay? It works at $9.95 with your promotion. You make a lot of sales, right? 
Now, the next time you run a promotion on, an, on a page, you jack the price up to $14.95. See how much it sells there. If you made more money, perfect. That, that shows you that you haven't reached the resistance point yet. Okay. Then you go into the next run of promotions and you sell for $19.95. If people are still buying the product and you're making a total net profit of more money, because obviously you're going to have less people buying as you increase the price generally, but you're going to be making more uh, money per sale. You, you get what I'm saying? So like, obviously you sell it at $9.95, you might make like a $6 profit. If you sell it at $14.95, you might make a, around $11 profit. And at 1995, you're making like a $15 profit, or I'm roughly estimating, depending on shipping costs and all that kind of stuff, goes into it too. But once you reach the resistance point where you're making less money because you raise the price too high, then bring it back down and you play within that range there uh, to try and find like the perfect price point. Because it's going to take time too to find the right price point. Because you know you don't want to just say like, oh, it worked at 995, I got to keep the price there, when you could be potentially making a lot more money if you just sell it for a little bit more. You, know, you want to go for uh, that premium pricing strategy and see you, you can make more money. Yeah, you know, that's that's what you're trying to do here with your stores, make more money. So like run promotions, test different prices to get to that resistance point and play within there. So next thing is scaling. So when you're growing your store like a little baby plant, you're going to want to start out by testing your promotions on smaller pages. OK, you start small, you think big. But you start small, most importantly, because then you can scale to larger pages because when you're testing out your products, you don't want to run it on like a million follower page, pay like $100 and, and then you're out $100 if you don't make any sales. That is not a good thing to do. You want to start it out on a small page. Maybe, you know, I, I have a I have an actual video going over different prices for different size pages as well on the channel. You go ahead and search for that. I think just like Instagram pricing online money 24 seven, something like it's, it's in my Shopify playlist, but you know, you start small, maybe like a hundred thousand followers, hundred and fifty thousand follower page, maybe even smaller than that. You pay like, I don't know, say ten to twenty bucks for that promotion, and you get a good return. Once you've proven that the product works and you're actually able to make some sales off of it, then you can scale up to larger pages because you know, that's how you make more money is by scaling it. You don't want to just get stuck on like, oh, I ran it on this page at this size. I got to keep the price the same. I got to do everything perfectly the same because it worked that one way. You know, you want to try and expand and go up. You know, you want to increase your sales volume. And the only way you're going to do that is by running it on bigger pages, increasing the price, you know, doing a lot of different types of tactics that you could use. Uh, but you want to keep testing. You don't want to get too comfortable with something that works. Once it works, play with it a little more because, you know, you play with it a little more and then it stops working. You could always go back to what was working. You, you, you know, it's not exactly like you're at a lost cause just because you've tried new things, you know, just be always trying new things with your scaling and with your pricing strategies. So next thing, very, very important. This is the number one thing for beginners is don't waste time. Okay. I see so many stores that are trying to be perfect. They're trying to watch like a million YouTube videos and they're, you guys obviously watch YouTube videos, get that education, maybe get a course. You know, I will be offering courses at some point on this channel. I just have not done that yet, but like don't waste time um, by chasing perfection and getting analysis paralysis. Obviously take the time to learn. You know, you want to understand all aspects of this business. But at the same time, you need to start your stores. Like, don't just keep watching a million videos and then never start your store and never start your business because you're just wasting time. Like, get started so you can actually succeed because the biggest problem is people just never starting their dang stores. They don't know what they're doing. They just, like, never get – because you're going to learn the most from actually getting started with your store, opening it up, figuring it all out, and as you move along, you're going to learn – because if you don't start, there's no way that you can actually learn anything, you, you know, for real. Like you got to put the things in these videos that I talk about into practice. Once you put them into practice, you're going to you're going to get a lot of value out of that because you're seeing firsthand results for yourself. What works for you in your niche and what doesn't work for you. And that's going to give you a lot more experience and have a lot more chances for success, really, is, you know, just trying a bunch of different things uh, and then seeing what, what sticks. And so, you know, when you get started with your store, maybe spend like 
two to five days, like really hammering it down, getting it operational, just getting it started and then slap it together and just test and see what, what gets started and what works. You got to jump off that cliff and start testing products because if you don't, you're never really going to know what could be happening with your online business. You know, with Shopify, it all comes down to just doing it. So that's that's probably the best advice I could give you guys is just don't waste time sitting around never taking any action because you know if you never take action you're never really going to know what could be happening with your business. You know, you got to you got to just jump the gun, you got to jump off the cliff, you got to jump into that water. So guys, if you not, have not actually started your Shopify stores yet, I do have a 14-day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and click that link in the description. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that dang subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos and uploads and all that good stuff. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.